Hi, I'm Jen Schumacher, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking twilight photography. I'm even going to take you on a little field trip and show you an actual session that I had recently. But before I do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video. I have lots of tutorials about real estate photography and also the business side of it. So let's jump into the video. All right, first things first, when you have your first twilight appointment, you're going to want to check your weather app, check the sunset time, and make sure you arrive at least 20 to 30 minutes before sunset. So you can get here in enough time to kind of scope out the home, make sure the lights are on, make sure the pool lights are on, make sure the landscape lights are going to be turned on, and anything else that you'll have to do to prepare the property. If the agent is not going to be here, make sure you get a contact number for the homeowner inside. That way, if there's anything that you need help with, lighting that they need to increase or decrease, or something they forgot to turn on, or the garage is open, you can easily text them and let them know. So your ideal shooting window is about 15 minutes before sunset and 15 minutes after. So right now it's about 7.43. We're getting pretty close here. Sunset's gonna be right before eight o'clock. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the sky and see what kind of colors we get tonight. And just keep in mind, the most important thing is the illumination or the natural illumination from the home for the real twilight. We can always adjust the sky in post. A lot of times we don't have a nice sky and we have to do a sky swap. So even if the sky is gray, we have lots of options digitally that we can use. So don't worry about that. So another tip, you also wanna let the homeowners know if they're home to stay in a room that is behind walls that won't be seen through the windows. So many times I've seen them walk across the kitchen or in the living room, or even they have the TV on. So it's important to have all of the distractions in hideaway. So when you're here during the day, it's a good idea to kind of scope out your spots that you know are gonna be, you know, the money shots, the great shots, especially when you're coming back for a twilight session. Sorry, all these bugs are all up in my face. Bring some bug spray, that's another thing. At dusk, they can get really bad. Anyways, since I was here earlier today, I kind of know where I need to stand to get the best shot possible. So that does save you time, especially with the time crunch of a twilight session to grab those spots, take your shots, and move on. So I'm starting with the front of the house. Generally, I'll start in the front and then save a little bit more time for the backyard. At least here in Florida, we have a lot of pools, we have a lot of landscaping, we have a lot of waterfront homes. So typically, I'll take a couple nice shots in the front and then move along to the back. So we're still waiting here for some of these landscape lights to go on. We still have a little bit more time before it's go time. I'm just out here, you know, ready to go. So very similar to daytime shooting, I have my ISO at 400, bumped it up a little bit for the evening time. F10, you can do F9 or F10, whatever you'd like, making sure everything is crisp and clear and in focus. And then as far as shutter speed, of course, that'll determine, um, that number will be determined by making sure this dial is on the zero here. And then don't forget, especially if you do video or if you're working on something else during the day, make sure that you see the infinity symbol there on your focus ring. Just adjust that, make sure the infinity symbol's there and um, that way you'll make sure everything is going to be nice and crisp. All right, now we're going to head around back. See what it's looking like back there. Make sure the pool's illuminated. Go to my spot that I found today and take my shots. Alright, so that's a wrap. All done and loading in the car. It's always my favorite thing to do. That way it can load on the way home and get to the editors quicker. So thanks again for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and say hello in the comments. Also check the description below for helpful links 
tutorials and some freebies that you don't want to miss out on. Take care. See you on the next one.